guys, I got to my uh, my Sabrent uh, hard drive toaster here. I'm just going to, uh, I got this plugged into the USB and to the power source. Um, and I'm going to plug in my old 250 gig laptop hard drive. Um, I'm just going to see what's on it here. Um, and uh, show you how it works while, I, while I'm at it. So right now this light is lit up blue. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm just going to stick this guy in here and see what happens. Pluck it down snugly. Okay, so I heard it. I heard it spin up. It's definitely going. I can see the light uh, flashing now. So that's very cool. Now what I see on my Mac is uh, I see Micmac shows up here, and that's the name of the drive. Excellent, and I can see all my files on it. So this is my uh, OS X files. So I could actually probably plug this computer. I could probably um, actually boot directly from uh, this hard drive toaster. Um, if I reboot with my uh, OS X Leopard disk in, I could probably have it boot from my old 250 gig drive, which there's nothing wrong with. It was just too small uh, at the time, and I upgraded to a 500 gig from the 250. Um, so I could probably boot directly from that. But what this allows me to do is now I can use disk utility. <coughs> Let me search for it here. Disk, disk utility. And uh, disk utility will actually see the 250 gig drive here. So now what I can do here um, is I can erase this guy. Um, so I, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to securely erase this hard drive. I'll do a single pass of zeros um, to secure uh, erase this drive. Um, I've got my data backed up on my network attached storage um, which is uh, run with 3.5 inch drives and it's mirrored. Um, so I'm going to just uh, scrub this 250 gig drive um, and then I can either reuse it or I can uh, throw it out without uh, without worrying. All right, delete. Yes, got to be extra careful because my other uh, my main SSD is uh, 256 gigs, so it's this isn't something where you want to hit the wrong button and uh, start erasing the wrong drive. But uh, anyways, that's plugging away. It looks it says uh, 15 minutes, so that's pretty nice. That is real simple. I don't have to uh, screw, you know, use a screwdriver to plug it into an external uh, hard drive case and enclosure. And uh, I'll be able to real quickly put my 3.5 3, uh, 3 inch hard drive in here and scrub that as well. Because I, what I do for my network attached storage is I actually uh, I have three one terabyte drives. And two drives go in for the mirror, obviously. One drive mirrors the other drive in my Netgear Stora network attached storage. And my third drive, I pull it aside out of the unit in a static case, and it kind of sits away from my network attached storage. And I just use that as a kind of a third backup. Um, worst case scenario, if my NAS blows up and corrupts my drives, well, I've, I, I had already broken my mirror and... I have a copy of all my data on that uh, third one gig, uh, uh, sorry, one terabyte um, hard drive. Um, so, what, but what I like to do um, is uh, scrub the data clean from it prior to um, breaking my uh, mirror uh, again. Usually, I just put it in there, and it will overwrite it. Um, but I'm always worried that it's going to look at the wrong uh, hard drive, uh, use the wrong hard drive as the uh, as the primary and start copying over old data, uh, which that would be bad. It doesn't do that as long as I follow the instructions, but um, I, I find it nicer mentally to have a nice clean hard drive to stick in there beside the, um, the existing one so that it can mirror itself again when I, when I do break that mirror. So I have a number of um, 2.5 inch hard drives and maybe one or two 3.5 inch drives, but anyways, uh, I think I'm going to find this a handy tool. The other thing that I can do with it is next time I have a hard drive that I need to uh, you know, restore or if I'm installing a new hard drive, I can just use this guy to put in the new hard drive, clone 
my you know my MacBook drive over to this new hard drive, and then all I got to do is just plug this guy right into the hard uh, right into the MacBook, boot it up, and I'm good to go. As opposed to uh, using Time Machine, which is what I usually do. I usually just use Time Machine, back it up, um, and then restore onto a new drive. But um, sometimes cloning it, if you have this the toaster, is easier to do. You just clone it and just plug in the hard drive, and you're away. Nothing, nothing to it at that point. So, so yeah, that's my uh, bit of my review. Uh, it looks like it's just working. Um, well, now it's saying two hours to go um, to clear it, but that's okay. I don't have anything to do right now, so I'm just gonna let it plug away here. And uh, yeah, it seems to work well. Uh, I, you know, I haven't haven't used it for a long time, but uh, uh, a hard drive toaster is a real easy way to go. Um, I find almost easier and more. Uh, convenient and uh, versatile than a hard drive enclosure uh, as long as you don't need a drive enclosure that's uh, mobile like you wouldn't want to take this and you know put it in your backpack and your suitcase and all that and take it around but for a uh, kind of a standalone uh, solitary you know desk thing it uh, works well all right that's it thanks for watching okay.